Here's Josh. This is his little shindig. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what to do with my hands. Shut up. Josh, um, he's one of the guys that's usually up at the clubhouse um, and helps run that. Um, we were planning on trying to actually set up um, and try to sell some of our um, our extras of things that we've gotten in lots, but unfortunately, um, our schedules just weren't lining up, and Matt wasn't able to, to help, and I can't be there all day either. So, with some of the things that are going on, so we're gonna run over and check it out, see what all they got. Um, we are gonna take a break from the Izzy toy hunt for a couple weeks. Um, while I'm moving, um, graduations and things are going on, so we'll uh, catch back up with you guys when we get in here to the expo, and we will see what all we can find. So I'll see you guys here in just a minute. All right, guys, we're in here. This is uh, one of the booths that Josh is helping run. This is the my clubhouse booth. Got a lot of good stuff in here. Been looking around a little bit already. Be able to pick up a. Uh, water moccasin it's missing one little piece but i got it for a pretty good price too a little bit of gi joe some tmnt a lot of funko some wrestling some of the newer batman stuff Spider-Man, got some, some Batman Legends. Stan Lee. And we got a lot of miscellaneous here, some Marvel. A little bit of Team and T in there. Some G.I. Joe. Let's go uh, check out and see what else we've got in here. All right, I think this is nerd nostalgia, but I think it's also I think Josh, some of Josh's stuff over here. So, a bunch of comics. Stranger Things radio, some Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Bucky O'Hare. Turtles Crime TV Fighter set. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Trolls. Sixty bucks for that raft, and it's actually pretty clean. And I don't have it, but. Trying to try not to spend a whole lot today. Blue. A lot of Josh's stuff here. Toy Story figures, pretty cool. Puppet Master. Marvel DC. Stitch tunes. I actually grabbed the water moccasin from this booth. I'll probably come back and go through some more Joes. Got a hole. Decimator. Some 
TMNT. Comax. stuff in here all right this is another local spot uh, through the looking glass we go in there every now and then pick up some some joes from luke what's going on man Still working on it. Waiting on the city now. At least for five bucks. Remember if Matt's got that yet or not. But... Oh, that backpack's pretty cool. Here's Josh. This is his little shindig. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what to do with my hands. You don't know what to do with your hands? <laughs> no. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Whatever you want to say. Come check it out. I guess if you are around. You sell anything on? Facebook, live, nothing. Oh, you follow them on Whatnot. Oh, they yeah, sell on yeah. Whatnot. We're on Facebook and Instagram, the Clubhouse. Joplin, Joplin, Missouri. Is it 417 Clubhouse on Whatnot? Something like that. I'm not sure, now that you say that. Yeah, check um, them out on Whatnot, yeah. too. Another expo coming up, and you know when the next one is? October 1st. October 1st. That's a good one. So. That'll be a bigger one. Yeah, it was good last year, so. And there's uh, probably fewer restrictions this year, too, so. Should be a lot more fun. So, all right, well, here's the, here's the guy that apparently I don't ever put a face to a name, I or I just know. say buddy. I don't know so, what's going on. This is Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of everything here. A cap. A couple Ghostbusters. Freaking Ghostbuster packs of sweet. 
All right, guys, we're back in the lair. Could potentially be our last video in here. We are in the process of selling the house and things have been pushed back just a little bit. So um, I have not got to breaking everything down and packing it up. But um, today we took a break from the A to Z toy hunt and we hit the, the 80s, uh, hit the A to Z. Um, we hit the, the Joplin uh, mini expo put on by Josh um, up at the clubhouse. So went through, um, found quite a, quite a few things that wouldn't mind having, but tried to uh, stay within a budget today and, and kind of go light. So um, just kind of go through here and show you a few things that I picked up. Um, I got the water moccasin. It is missing, I picked this up for 15 bucks. It's missing a piece right here, but overall, I feel like that's a pretty good steal. So um, happy to have this so I can uh, complete the figure. All right, guys. Next thing I ended up picking up um, was this Funko Tailspin Baloo. Now, I'm not a big Funko fan. Uh, this is actually at Josh's booth, or I guess one of Josh's booths was on the clubhouse, but um, not a fun big Funko fan, but Tailspin was a childhood favorite. Um, I remember watching that at my grandparents' house when I got home from school every day. So to have Baloo in the collection, like that just brings back so many memories for me. So thank you, Josh, for that. Uh, continue to walk around, um, but one of the last things I actually came across was a tote of classified Joes that was on the ground. I'd kind of overlooked them a few times, but uh, went back through and they had a few that I didn't have. Um, a, couple, a couple of them were like a, a chase um, that I really didn't want to spend $40 on. And then I think they had the Baroness with the bike um, that I really didn't want to upspend for. So I don't have Firefly yet, but they had um, the Firefly in the, in the classified and I picked this up for $25. So uh, pretty good pretty good pickup. I think he's running for like 30 to 35 online with shipping. So I was able to uh, save a few bucks by grabbing it um, locally. So got that. Another thing I ended up picking up, have to uh, fix it a little bit. He got some loose arms, loose loose head, loose knees, but uh, picked up Headhunter. I just think he's a pretty cool looking figure. Um, doesn't have any accessories, anything, but um, I was actually looking at him earlier this week online and just um, so happened to come across him so I grabbed that and then the last thing <clears throat> the last thing that I grabbed before we left the the expo was this x30 with the pilot and when I grabbed it I picked this up for 20 bucks it was missing both of the front wings and the engine cover um, if you've not watched Matt and I's Facebook haul video um, that we did, I don't know, three, four months ago, we actually picked up a huge Joe lot and it had a lot of vehicles in it and a lot of uh, extra accessories. Well, it just so happens, everything that we were missing for this was in there. So this is now complete, um, as far as I can tell, and this will be sitting on Matt's flag. So pretty cool pickup for 20 bucks. All right, guys, that's everything we picked up at the Mini Expo. Um, the big Joplin Expo is coming up in October. So if you're local, go check it out. Big thanks to everybody who has uh, subscribed, liked, watched all of our videos. We appreciate it. If you have not yet, please do so. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys know when we post our next video. In the meantime, happy hunting, guys.